Hello, everyone, and welcome to Morning Coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. So I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Uh, I did. It was an interesting weekend, but it was a good one nonetheless. The weather, the weather was fantastic. Um, I had some brunch with a good friend on Saturday. It was a great weekend. And I did in fact do that Twin Flame reading. So if you haven't caught it yet, check it out. It is on my page. Um, I'm not saying that I'm 100% going to be getting back into weekly Twin Flame readings. I'm just gonna go with the flow. We'll see what happens. But in, in either case, I did it this past weekend, yesterday actually, Sunday. And actually it was a really good reading, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Um, yes, so this is going to be a general energy reading for the day. Um, this is Monday, April 16th, no, 15th, April 15th, all right. Um, so yeah, just a general energy reading for the day. This is not specific to anything, love, career, sign, whatever. This is just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us today. Okay, so let's just get to it. Mm. I'm having a little bit of a, a later start today and I am drinking coffee right now, as you can see. But um, I'm having a little bit of a later start today just because I felt like it. I woke up around like six and I was like, huh, I don't want to get out of bed right now. And I don't have to get out of bed right now. I'm going to do the reading. I just don't have to do it right now. So I was like, you know what? Spirit was like, cool. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> anyway, here we go, guys. Monday, April 15th. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, April 15th, 2019. Oh boy, y'all. It's the 15th, so you know what that means. It's tax day. And I don't mean to trigger anybody, but if you haven't done your taxes yet, oof, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Ooh, okay, here we go, guys. Monday, April 15th, 2019. Let's see, let's see what we've got for today. Monday, April 15th. One more shuffle, and then we'll see what's in the cards for us today. Okay. All right, well, that's some so far. We're gonna take it. Yes, I'm definitely gonna take it, but actually I kind of, <laughs> this is so weird, but I kind of wanna leave it there. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna leave it here. Underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. So it's so funny because um, I woke up this morning and I was just thinking about it and I was like, huh, you know, we've been having a lot of talk for the masculines lately. We should have a talk for the feminines. And um, this song by Little Mix was in my head. I really, I don't remember the name of it, but it's like, so. Um, like they like talk about how I gotta like gotta get him out my head. Let me let me see if I can find it because, and it's so funny. Like I almost I almost wanted to set the intention. I guess I did inadvertently, or it's just coming out this way. Like I was just like whatever. We'll see what comes out. Hold on, I want to find this. This. Um, the song. Oh, anyway, anyway, I guess I don't want to waste any more time. It doesn't matter, but it's a little mixed song. I know that, but it's like talking about, and, and, and the video is like all, all the girls, like they're having a, a sleepover or whatnot, and, and they're complaining about boys and blah, blah, blah. So it, that's the kind of energy that, I'm, that I was picking up on this morning. 
Okay, so now we have the counterparts here. We're starting with the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And, um, you know, the Divine Masculine or the Masculines were coming through as the King of Wands. They even came through that in, in that sense during the Twin Flame reading that I did this weekend, okay? We also have the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Magician and Divine Wisdom. Now... Now, now, now. This is great. So from the feminine point of view, you have a brand new start, okay? This Ten of Pentacles here is absolutely representing the energies of learning a lesson, um, completing a cycle, completing uh, a karmic situation here, okay? Um, having learned and grown quite a bit. Um, the Queen of Cups energy is the energy of... Um, unconditional love and deep deep compassion yes so if we're talking i guess we're talking twin flames okay but it doesn't have to be twin flames all right it could really you, this could resonate with anyone um especially anyone that has been through a really strong deep struggle over the past we'll say year and a half to two years all right um but in terms of what we have been talking about here, you know, the masculine came came through in um, the weekend edition, then as the king of wands, and then they came through again during the masculine part of the twin flame mirror reading, and now we have the feminines coming through in the queen of wands, okay? So it's the counterpart situation. But definitely for those of you that have been on the twin flame journey and have been resonating with the readings that I've been doing so far lately, um, you know, this is you here, you know, you, you are still, you are still the divine feminine. You also have the divine masculine within, but you identify more with the, the feminine side, which is just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's natural. Yeah. Um, confidence. Okay. There's a whole lot of confidence coming through with this queen of wands energy. And it's really, um, balancing very well with the queen of cups energy. Okay, the Queen of Cups, as I said, is the unconditional love, the empathy, the compassion, the um, the the psychic ability. Although I wanted to say telepathy. Okay, so there might be. I mean, I know I'm I'm clairaudient. Okay, so telepathy is a thing. You know, I mean, it it comes through as audio. Like I don't really see images and all that, but anyway. Um, but it, it's really like, I don't know why I wanted to say telepathy specifically. Um, it could be any reason. Maybe it resonates with some of you in some way. But um, the Queen of Cups also represents the just the, the psychic ability, um, psychic awareness in general. Now, from the Ten of Pentacles, you go, you go, I'm sorry, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is the lessons learned, the hard work that's been done, the completions of the cycle. Literally, like, wrapping the, the situation up is what is coming through with that, okay? From there, you go to the Page of Pentacles, which is that brand new start, okay? The level up. This, to me, has been a level up energy for a long time. Um, and so now... You're coming, you've, my phone, what is my phone doing? I don't know, stop that. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, you've come to a new point of view, a new place in your life, a new position. Um, this is, the Page of Pentacles is commitment, is honesty, integrity, hard work, the apprenticeship type energy. And it's just that, it's not like you're, 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 you're becoming an apprentice again, but I guess, you know, in a way you are um, because you're moving to a new level, all right? So you are, um, I'm hearing for some of you, you're challenging yourselves to step up again and um, reach a new understanding, come to a new place in life. I, I guess it's almost, I'm feeling like some of you, it's almost like you're starting, you're starting over or you're starting the cycle again, but it's it's a new cycle. It's not the old stuff. It's a new cycle of learning, okay? So from the Ten of Pentacles, now you are 
reaching the page of pentacles state where now you see how that page is reaching for that pentacle well you're starting again you're starting with the ace of pentacles and you're and you're learning some new lessons you're starting a new cycle which we can see here in this bottom row you have the four of pentacles the magician and divine wisdom now the four of pentacles can be a little bit of a tricky energy the four of pentacles often speaks to holding on to something for dear life um, it can be a miserly energy it can be a hoarder energy here though i don't think that's the case um, for the most part you may have some things that you're still holding on to but that would be hopefully that would be the lessons that you learned from this past this previous cycle here with this ten of pentacles right um and so as you're moving through to this next cycle here that you're manifesting with the magician through the eyes of some deep and strong and profound divine wisdom um the things that you would be holding on to are the lessons the things that are going to you're going to need to keep to help you succeed in the next cycle as you move forward in life the four of pentacles can also be solid foundation okay uh solid finances uh just a, a, a solid material start a solid new beginning something like that okay a good foundation here it could be the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles also conversely can speak to releasing just letting things go letting the past be letting the past go and moving on okay so take that it, it really could be any one of those energies it probably could be all of those energies actually it most likely is all of those energies that's great you guys especially now the divine wisdom card here really ties it all together divine wisdom is a unique card within this deck and it's really just that divine wisdom okay it's the it's the, the 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 lessons from the universe that we have learned here and that we're putting into use but i do just want to read a little bit of it uh okay so um the key words here are akasha awakening higher self unity and expansion and uh, the card says here, the floodgates are beginning to open as the seated wisdom of the ancient mysteries are now pouring through. This is the divine knowledge that exists within your cellular memory and the power of your own unique story. You may be experiencing a breakdown of the artificial structures that wish to fall by the wayside as new forms of wisdom stir within your heart. This may also indicate a deeper sense of awakening as you connect with various forms of teachings, lineages, or philosophies that call out from beyond this lifetime. Divine wisdom comes as a sacred reminder of the sovereign truth that rests within you, waiting to be reclaimed and activated now. Depicted in this key, uh, depicted in this key as the represent representation of Isis, the lunar goddess of 10,000 names, we are reminded of the cycles of time that have birthed many sages, mystics, and ascended guides who have also filled our collective narrative of magic and mystery. um let's see anyway basically so i think i think you guys get it but this basically is just speaking to you know the, the 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 lessons that you learn the divine wisdom that we are seeking that we are here to gain that we are here to acquire and it really feels like from a feminine point of view it really really feels like um you we've all really kind of learned the lesson um, big time and I'm not saying that there are still still isn't some work that needs to be done in integrating some of these lessons particularly on the compassionate end and this goes out to those in the collective that are still kind of um, bashing the masculine or feeling resentful um, and I'm not trying to tell you, ah, oh, you should stop doing that. That's bad. Love and light. Blah, blah, blah. Absolutely not. Like, you'll never hear that come out of my mouth. But what I am trying to say here is, you know, you, it's, it would be beneficial. It would be better. Even if, it should, even if you're just looking at it from your own point of view on your own journey, it would be better to come to a place where you can look at the masculine and be like, hey... I see your struggle. I understand what you're going through. I went through something different just on a, the opposite end of the spectrum. Like, there is no reason for us to hate each other. Sure, we may not really want to communicate. We might want to keep our distance from each other. But we're all going through something. And we all are one. We all need to just love each other.
Queen of Cups. That's the energy of the Queen of Cups. That's the lesson in the balance of Queen of Cups. Now, the other balance in the Queen of Cups is now because she is so emotional and so intuitive and she's very, very in tune with her emotions and the emotions of others, she can overgive and drain herself and just constantly give, 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 give in from an emotional point of view, from an emotional standpoint, that she just completely drains herself, okay? But the balance here, the other lesson in balance with the Queen of Cups is um, knowing when to disengage from people and do it in a loving way, like understanding where they are and that you can't really help them. They need to do it for themselves or, or at least they need to choose to do it for themselves. And until they make that choice, you really can't do anything for them. So it's being able to separate yourself from that with still having love in your heart, but understanding that, you know, you need boundaries, they need boundaries, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Okay. I hope that made sense. All right, guys. But overall... For those in the feminine collective, um, especially that I've been channeling for, it looks like, you know, you're on the right path um, and you're really, you're really manifesting something brand new from this place of divine wisdom that you have acquired over the last few years. But the last few months, I really feel like has been extremely important pivotal spirit is saying like it's it's been this spot it's been yeah it's been the, the 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 time period in which this foundation here that's represented by this four of pentacles it's been the time period that this foundation was really solidified like um you know how when you're building a house and you lay the foundation you have to lay the you have to let the foundation set in before you can build the rest of the house this is what that's what this is that's really what this feels like, the Four of Pentacles, okay? Woo! All right, ladies and gents, we're getting into the clarification section now. So what I want to clarify, I'm going to do some specifics here. I want to clarify the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles specifically. I'm gonna do them individually and I am using the unicorns today. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna start with the Page of Pentacles. I wanna clarify this new start, um, this fresh beginning, this level up, and then I wanna talk about the Four of Pentacles energy because I just wanna clear up. I wanna see if potentially there are some things that still need to be let released that could be holding you back, okay? One more shuffle and then we will get to it. Let's see what we've got here. Starting with the Page of Pentacles. This new level, this new start, this level up, this fresh beginning. Page of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Just some clarification. Okay. What do we have here? Ah, yes. The Six of Wands, the Star, holy moly, <laughs> and the King of Swords. Underneath the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. Absolutely. Look at you. Damn. All right. So the Nine of Pentacles is the energy of being um, independent, strong, um, you know, autonomous, uh, having your sovereignty, being, you know, either being wealthy or financially stable. Um, Although wealthy is really the word that I want to use here because wealth is much more than just finances or money. You really have, especially with these energies here, Six of Wands, the Star, and the King of Swords, you really have come into a wealth and abundance that is way more than material, okay? Uh, the King of Swords energy, even though this seems like it should be a little scary, this is actually quite welcome this King of Swords energy, because what it stands for is truth, honesty, and integrity. You know what I mean? Especially what I was saying here in this Page of Pentacles, right? Because that's what we're clarifying, the Page of Pentacles. But it's wisdom, truth, and honesty. It's, it's diplomacy. It's being able to look at a situation, see it for what it truly is, and allow that to be, or take what you, what you need to, or what you can from it. The star, look at you. 
fem I guess we could call you divine feminines. I, I don't know, whatever. But any those of you that are resonating with this reading, and keep in mind that just because we're talking from the feminine point of view here, it doesn't mean that you can't be a man. You know, I'm male and I resonate a lot with the feminine energy. You know, it's just energy, guys. But the, the star here is um, a deep, deep sense of healing and wish fulfillment. Now, here's the other thing about the star. Um, and then also, let me, before I go forward, and then you have the six of wands, which is victory, okay? Um, success, abundance, excellent. Now, the thing about the star here is that um, this doesn't really feel so much like healing any longer because I really feel like, for the most part, a good chunk of the healing that would be represented by the star has already been done what this feels like is you're literally moving on with the universe at your side you don't really see too much okay all you really see is this one little star off in the distance that are that's leading you somewhere you don't know exactly where you're going where it's leading you but you are in vibrational alignment with that which you desire so you're aware that wherever you're going it's getting you what it's taking you to what you want okay so in essence and that's what this king of swords energy is saying you don't really need to know where you're going or where you're headed or what what the end result is going to be okay because you are confident and you're willing to follow the universe you're willing to allow the universe drive the ship here um, you're setting the destination, right? You are, you're, I mean, you're navigating, you're setting the destination by way of your vibration, but the universe is actually doing the driving. Does that make sense? And the King of Swords energy is saying that you are very much okay with it, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now let's talk about this Four of Pentacles energy here. Please, spirit. Four of Pentacles, please. Anything we need to know, just to discuss it. Uh, oh, Seven of Swords. Oof. Okay. Four of Pentacles, please. Wow. <laughs> There's that Nine of Pentacles again. Okay. And the Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles came out again, and you have the Ten of Wands underneath the deck. The Nine of Pentacles came out again, and that actually landed on the Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords came out, but it flew off to the side. Uh, I'm going to take that as you. Uh, there is a lot of release that's happened here. The Seven of Swords is a deceptive energy, so I do feel like there is a release of deceptive energy. Yeah, this, for the most part, this Four of Pentacles is a releasing energy. Ten of Wands is a completion of burdens in which, uh, a completion of cycles of burdens that you shouldn't, you really don't need to be carrying any longer. Like all of these wands definitely are not all your responsibility. Okay, I just heard delegation. Some of you, like you would have needed to delegate. And... If we're talking the Twin Flame journey specifically, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands would represent the, the, the deception in the fact that you needed to stay with this person, you needed to honor some sort of contract even though the other person wasn't honoring the contract themselves. And I'm saying this and I'm not, I'm not passing judgment, okay? We all go through the veil of forgetfulness when we get here. So I'm not passing judgment. I'm just saying it was too much a lot of the time and it was stifling our own growth by continuing to hold on four of pentacles to all these burdens, ten of wands, okay? But now you've traded that. You've traded this energy, the ten of wands, seven of swords, for this energy, independence, peace, and harmony even with this nine of pentacles, okay? Independence, autonomy, all that good stuff. That's beautiful, guys. Congratulations. Okay. 
So I want to close the reading then. Let's get into some oracle guidance. I want to get some oracle guidance from the unicorns. They really want to play, come out and play today. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. Unicorns. Oracle guidance, please. Here we go. Best message, please. Guidance. Messages for us. Whatever you want to say, unicorns. What you got for us today? Ooh. There we go. I'm going to leave it there for now. Oof. Okay. Underneath the deck, you do have anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. But I really do feel like that's what you've learned to do here, especially with this Queen of Cups energy. We have partnership, ooh, compassion and expansion. Beautiful. Partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find a trustworthy partner to... Uh, I'm sorry, find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. I really do feel like the, there's a counterpart. There's a counterpart coming your way, okay? Um, now, this is also speaking to the teamwork of the Twin Flames. Even though you may not be in communication with each other, um, you may not any, be anywhere near each other, you may not even really want to speak with each other or you know, want to have anything to do with each other in your physical lives. That doesn't mean that you don't still have an energetic connection with this person. And I am, I am picking up an energy of like an energetic partnership in sense. Um, just being a support team for each other, this, that, and the other. Uh, you know, th there is a bit of that still going on here. Now, the other thing that's also coming through, like I said, I do feel like there's some sort of counterpart that's coming into the picture or probably already is in the picture for some of you, yes, which is a beautiful thing. You have compassion, which is be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. And that was the other message that I was getting with this Queen of Cups here. So for some of you, like for a lot of us, this has already been reached for a good amount of us. For another part of us, we're still kind of working on that and I understand it. It's not an easy thing to cultivate, especially when, you, when you're still probably dealing with a lot of the anger involved in the situation, okay? Um, but that's really what what would best be worked on here and who other to work on that on cultivating that <laughs> who better to work on cultivating that than someone like a twin flame who has triggered the absolute hell out of you <laughs> it, well you've triggered the hell out of each other right so there you go i mean that's i mean talk about a crash course in compassion <laughs> and then finally you have expansion spread your wings and soar share your message and shine your light show the world what you're made of and that's everything that the queen of wands represents or stands for here okay that's beautiful oh no oh no oh yeah um i would just I, I wanted to see what was under the queen of wands it's the eight of cups <laughs> yeah that makes sense but anyway i mean this is great congratulations to you guys this really does feel good a lot of great work has been done here is in the process of being done all right so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic Monday. And I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow for our next cup of coffee. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.